Now his compassion that day, I want us to take a second to do some math. Now math is not my forte. I'll just tell you that right off the bat. But I want us to get a picture of what this was, this crowd. Now it says this was the feeding of the 5,000, but we see it that we'll talk about this in lesson six, but it says that they were, it was besides women and children. They were basically counting the men. So there were many, many more thousands there than just 5,000. Scholars estimate upwards of 20,000 people were actually there because uh, families were huge to the Jewish culture. You had to carry on the line. And so there had to be at least a wife and a, a kid or maybe a mom and a sister. It wasn't just 5,000. But let's just say, for math's sake, <laughs> math, um, that there was 15,000 people there. When we're talking about Jesus having compassion and healing all day, I want us to put some numbers to that. Let's say there was 15,000 people there. And let's say that 5% of the people were sick. That's 750 people. If Jesus spent one minute with each one of those people, that's 12 and a half hours. Do we have that kind of compassion? Now, we don't know how long Jesus healed. We don't know. There's no time frame given here as far as an exact, this, he healed from this time to this time. But just put the math to that. His compassion is never ending. He gave and he gave and he gave. Is ours never ending? And we never see in here that he ever took a break or took a rest or took a bite. He just kept loving and healing and touching and talking about the kingdom of God in an inviting, I'm not annoyed with you manner. You know, that's what he did. It is such a beautiful picture of our compassionate Savior. He wasn't there because he had to be. He was there because he wanted to be 